uh, what is called as uh, you know logical effort the concept of logical effort and this concept is is uh, will help us to size devices gates and chains of devices chains of gates madhur you have a question yes sir sir i have a doubt in contamination delay that uh, does contamination delay always affect only hold time or it may in some cases also affect setup time no contamination delay is uh, is is fastest delay so it will not usually have any bearing on the setup time so but in some cases uh, like in two input nine gate only in in one case i was seeing that fault delay was increasing I don't know if it what is was increasing. I'm sorry. A uh, fault fault delay. So that is then the propagation delay. Contamination delay is always the short the smallest delay. Okay, so it's the fastest delay. That is the definition of contamination delay. If there is a faster delay, then that is the contamination delay. Okay, so anything slower than that will be propagation delay. Yeah, will be okay. a part of propagation delay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah. So this. method is called logical effort and as i mentioned you know in the last class also that we would want to size circuits get a feel of the circuit and do stuff with that even without doing the first simulation so logical effort will help us do back of the envelope sizing of circuits so what did we do in the last class we did back of the envelope calculations for estimating the delays hmm we did not do any simulation but we could say okay this delay is 6 units this delay is 4 units and so on we were able to say that hmm yes sir so with logical effort what we are trying to say is with logical effort we are saying that uh, i will similarly be able to do some circuit sizing without even running one simulation okay so let us say this is an inverter chain if the load capacitance is given what would be the minimum number of stages or what how many stages do i need to have a minimum minimum delay and what should be the size of my inverters if we have to answer this question that is when logical effort comes into picture is the question clear is the objective of this session clear so uh, in the previous uh, classes we have discussed that given the sizing and everything what will be the back back end calculation of the delay now we are doing the exact opposite of that yes because okay. as a circuit designer you need to do both yeah okay okay sir okay okay so sir yes how will the i'm like how will the delays uh, decrease or increase i'm like I, i think it they should increase if we increase the number of stages right sir i'm like So let us see. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the first step that we need to do is we need to express delays in process independent units because I don't want to now talk about what would happen in sixty five nanometer, what would happen in forty nanometer, or eighty nanometer, or one eighty nanometer. I want to come up with a design method which is process independent, technology independent. Hmm? And to do that, what we do is we say that okay, let us talk of a unit d which is uh, basically uh, the absolute value of delay divided by tau and this tau is equal to 3 rc why 3 rc why 3 rc a uh, time delay of inverter yeah so delay of an inverter without any fan out or in a different way if the inverter was ideal and had no self loading then the delay with one fan out are you with me so we are not considering that 2c and c of the, uh, we, will the, the we will see uh, we will see we will i am not saying we are not considering i am saying let us represent delays in the standard format where we do d by d absolute by tau and tau is equal to 3 rc abhi just take i am not saying we are ignoring anything okay okay sir did i say i am we are ignoring anything no no sir not yet hai right? na so 
यहां तक क्लियर है थ्री आर सी इज देयर सो यू नो देर सम सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ थ्री आर सी दैट इज वी आर यूजिंग थ्री आर सी देन वी से दैट डिले हैज टू कॉम्पोनेट एफ एंड पी F component represents effort delay, which is stage effort. That my uh, how big is the output, okay? And it again has two components. One is logical effort. So, abhi ye definitions hain. So, don't get bogged down by so many new terms that you are getting to hear just now. Uh, you will have time to absorb them. Okay? So, effort delay S. is a multiplication of logical effort and electrical effort so logical effort is a relative ability of a gate to deliver current what is it relative to it is related to an inverter so if it's a nand gate we will see how to calculate its uh, logical effort electrical effort is very simple it simply is the ratio of output resist output capacitance With the input capacitance, it is also called as fan out. Okay, so three new terms on this particular slide: effort delay, logical effort, and electrical effort. Okay, and then there is parasitic delay. This represents the delay of a gate when there was no load. So, how much would this delay be for an inverter? Hello. That is three R C. Yes, this delay, parasitic delay, will be three R C. So D equal to the so D absolute will be three R C. So D equal to be one for an inverter. Are you able to see this? So is that, does that mean three R C means one unit delay? Yes. Okay. 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 So with these definitions. Let us see how to estimate the value of G and H. So H to Asan hai, uh, G and other stuff, uh, so that we can overall get the value of total delay in any system. Hmm? So what we did was we plotted the delays of a two-input NAND and an inverter for uh, different electrical effort, and these were the graphs that we received. what we see is that g for a nand is about 4 by 3 parasitic is 2 and the d is 4 by 3 h plus 2 whereas for the inverter g we saw is 1 because everything is related to an inverter parasitic delay we found to be one unit so the delay would be h plus 1 h should be the fan out so how did we get g equal to 4 by 3 any ideas because then you will be able to answer the question on nor what would be the same thing for nor 2 so can you just just briefly explain this g and h i am not able to distinguish between them the g and h i'm getting confused it is fan out sir is it the slope sir yes it is the slope but uh, to the previous question h is fan out okay in very simple terms it is fan out which is also called as electrical effort in the logical effort terminology okay so the more e, number of so the more number of gates it will be driving the more the electrical yes. effort a bigger and load it drives the more delay which is also okay. intuitive yeah and so uh, the g thing the b parameter yeah g is the uh, is the ratio of uh, or let us say in this case g is the slope of this line g is the logical effort how much extra effort do i need to get to put in in comparison to an inverter what do you mean by effort english mein physics mein what do we mean by effort so i mean force some kind of force of work the force i have to apply hai na yeah so 
how do i apply force on a gate input on a on a gate which is a two input nand gate for example sir so can you repeat the question just just ask so how do i apply force on a two input nand gate so that it starts to give an output that i desire so by charging its input capacitances so by charging its input capacitances so do you see that there could be some relation between the input capacitance of a two input nand gate and the input capacitance of an inverter so i didn't get the point of charging the input capacitances i mean we are just applying the input signal right ha huh? the when you apply the input signal what does the input signal do what does the input signal do so we apply the gate to source voltage and then basically depending upon that the channel is formed and then so there is a capacitance the... here na yeah yes sir that it charges sir. this capacitance okay that is when this will go up na right the gate capacitance you're talking about okay so now for an inverter what was the capacitance that you needed to charge so 3c cc what is the capacitance that you will need to charge for this inverter this nand gate okay okay so we are taking the input signal strength to be out of the equation just for the gates yes okay therefore that for the logical effort for a, a two input nand is 4 by 3 Okay. Like how much more it is required compared to the inverter? Okay. Yes. Okay. How much more effort do I need to put to get the same result, same response as an inverter would have given? Okay. Got it, sir. Okay. So what would it be for NOR two? Quickly. How would you size a NOR two? What would be the size of the NMOSs? बोलो 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 हाउ वुड आई साइज द एनमोसेस हियर इन द वर्स्ट केस हाउ मेनी एनमोसेस इन सीरीज इट्स अ टू बोथ वुड बी सीरीज हम हाउ मेनी एनमोसेस इन सीरीज वन सो व्हाट वुड बी द साइज वन ओके What about the PMOS now? So both of them will be in series. Size will be four, half. Four. Okay. So what is the, what do they say? Logical effort for a NOR two? Five by three. Five by three. Wonderful. Are all of you able to see this? No, sir. No. Right? Okay. Let's go into detail. uh the logical effort is the ratio of the input capacitance of a gate to the input capacitance of an inverter delivering the same output current hmm so for a nand gate the c in is 4 so g is equal to 4 by 3 for a nor gate the c in is 5 therefore g is equal to 5 by 3 so there are different inputs so uh... the two inputs are there and yeah okay. you take any one input we talk only about a what is happening to a so we're not going to a complex gate i know there could be a complex gate which could appear like this hmm uh, a b and c so c would have different sizing than b so c ka logical effort kuch aur aa jayega abhi let us look at symmetric gates only in the exam you may get complex gates you may want to propose questions of complex gates in your assignment but just to understand the concept let us start with simple symmetric gates what happens so first this 4 4 and 1 1 is clear this was the question i said last in the beginning also sir yes Run. so this sizing are done just to ensure that we'll have same equivalent resistance both for the rise and the fall time yes right? yes it's not 
with the delay to that we achieve aaron okay delay to different hoga hi na ranjit yes sir and yes sir that but is what the statement about. says that but the statement says that in, uh, our input capacitance of gate to input capacitance of a inverter driving hmm. the same same current yeah So but how is this related to same R, sir? I did not understand this. So, uh, what is current across a, a MOSFET? Okay, its voltage divided by R on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you will get R on, na? Yes, 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 sir. Got it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Karan. Uh, sir, can I say the lower the logical effort, the less will be the delay? The lower the logical effort, the lesser will be the delay. Yes, because G becomes less, so G into H is small. Yes. So, when we design, do we keep for like more of NAND gates in circuit because they are faster? We don't know. <laughs> we would probably want to, yes. But uh, if you need a NOR functionality, then you need a NOR functionality. Okay, sir. Thank you. So is this calculation for G clear, all of you? Hmm? So, uh, yes. I am still quite a bit confused in the calculation of G. Calculation of G or sizing of the gate? Uh, actually, the sizing only. Hmm. So, sizing me kya confusion hai, Faisal? What is the confusion there? Uh, what i am understanding is the resistance of both the nmos should be equals to the resistance of a single p mos so ha usse barabar ho raha hai lekin aisa you have to look at it as in the worst case when only one nmos is on the delay of the nor gate should be equal to the delay of the inverter delay okay. nahi output current okay sir so how would you size the nmos is then the same as the inverter yes sir Hmm? The same applies for the PMOS. That the current should be same as in an inverter. However, there are two PMOSs in series now. So what do you need to do? You need to halve the resistance. Yes, sir. To halve yes, the resistance, sir. you need to double the size up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Therefore, the PMOS of inverter should be doubled up. Therefore, PMOSs are sized at four. Okay. Hmm. 